I'm excited for today's video. It's been a while that I've filmed a trash to treasure video and I probably shouldn't even call these items trash as it really isn't trash at all. In fact, most of the items I picked up in thrift stores, so obviously, you know, not picking it out of a trash pile, but just unwanted items that people, maybe some people would deem as trash, but they just didn't want anymore. And my goal is of course always to turn those items into something beautiful and useful. First up here is this picture frame. You may remember seeing it before in a video. I had picked it up in a Columbus thrift store and I don't have the price on it anymore, but pretty sure I didn't pay more than maybe a couple of dollars for it. I really like the flowers that are in this frame and I think they would look lovely in my little shed in the backyard in the spring season and I don't really care for the color of the frame, so I'll probably just end up painting that. Not too much of a makeover, just giving it a fresh look. And this magazine rack is so pretty, it just caught my eye right away when I saw it in a thrift store. I paid $3 for it, and I really like the color of the wood, and I really don't have to do much with it, just clean it up a bit. Uh, there's a few pieces that need a little bit of reinforcement, maybe glue, and I really debate it whether I wanna transfer an image on the sides of the magazine rack. Not quite sure yet at this point. Sometimes I change my mind as I go, so we'll see. And you're probably wondering, what is she gonna do with a knife block? First of all, I love the color of this. And right away when I saw it, I kinda had an idea for it. Not sure is it gonna work out or not. So stay tuned, I won't go into too much detail now, but you'll see later what I have in mind. And this metal waste basket kinda caught my eye. Um, I'm not really fond of the color of it, so I'll probably just paint it paid 25 cents for it. When I saw this wooden ice cream bucket, I could not pass by it without getting it. Um, I did pay a little more for it, $12, and it actually says it works, but I of course don't want it for an ice cream bucket, uh, being that you know the, the inner, like the inside part where you actually make put the ice cream in is missing, so I really couldn't use it for that anyway, and I just like little wooden buckets like this. I'll probably paint it and just use it for a decoration. Uh, these signs caught my eye right away. They were a little more pricey. I paid $5 a piece for them. One of my favorite scriptures, I guess that's why they, it caught my eye, but I do have a plan for them and I'll share more on that later. And the last item here is this little stool. I'm always looking for plant stands. I paid $6 for it. So join me as I work on these fun projects and enjoy. I have good memories of these growing up, you know, making homemade ice cream. In fact, I wonder if my parents still have their uh, freezer bucket or ice cream pail, what we call them. I'm planning on leaving the one attachment fastened to the bucket. I think it looks kind of nice, but the other one I want to remove. Of course, the first thing here is getting it cleaned up using crud cutter to do this. I'm using a Do It Best brand paint, usually my go-to paint since our local hardware carries it. And the color is called Spectral and the sheen is Satin.
I decided to not put the glass back in this frame. I just like that look better. There were lots of crevices in this piece that I had to clean out, and here I'm just using a screwdriver to get to them. I've been using these decor transfers and projects and absolutely love them. I know I've talked about them before, but I couldn't resist uh, using some here for this little magazine rack. I've never really done it on a surface like this. It's always been on a painted surface, I think, but I'm gonna try it. I have a black one here. I do have an Etsy shop that I always get my transfers from and I'll link it down below in the description box. It's called Patterson Art Studio. Make sure to check them out. They have all kinds of different transfers and they also have amazing service. I always get kind of excited when I use these transfers. It's just amazing how your design will look like it's painted on. I feel like this piece is a little bit too tall and narrow and straight to my eyes. I don't know what it is. Um, it almost seems like it could topple over being that the legs aren't tapered. So I think to solve that, I'm actually gonna turn it into two little stools or plant stands, maybe cut the legs off around here and then add another top to my bottom part. And I think my top is actually gonna be one of my signs here. We'll see how it looks at least. John kindly cut this piece in half for me. Ended up not even getting a video of him doing the actual cutting here. He's just setting it up to make it go through nice and even and straight. My SD card ran out of space while we were filming it. Here I'm cutting my skirting pieces for the one little stool. I've talked about this Craig jig before, definitely one of the handiest tools to have in the shop. It's where you can drill holes at a slant. That way if you wanna you know, fasten something from the inside or from the side, it doesn't really make sense as I'm saying it, but you can see what I'm doing here. Um, you're able to get it in nice and evenly and it's sort of hidden you know, underneath the stool in this case, like no screws on the outside.
distralata, Matt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I started sanding the top here and was so impressed to be able to get that yellowish finish off. Um, it turned out to be a nice natural color of wood underneath. Initially I thought I would use spray paint to paint the legs and the skirting part of this bench. So here I'm masking off the top and I later decided to actually brush some paint on so I really wouldn't have had to do the masking. I'm using a pretty paint color called Mellow Tune and I've had this paint for a number of years. It's actually some old Valsbar cabinet enamel that I never used. And now and then if I do a project, I'll use it. It's just a pretty light blue-green color. Ended up applying two coats. So the second stool base I plan to spray paint, I'm using Rust-Oleum Flat White. As that paint is drying, I'm gonna go ahead and mask off one of these signs. I don't want the edge to be dark brown the way it is. I'm gonna go ahead and paint it white to match the base of the stool. So the plan I have for the other sign along with that knife block is to create a recipe book holder of sorts and I cut a piece of wood out in the shop to rest the book on, painted that, sanded and painted it and now I plan to fasten it onto the sign and then fasten the sign onto the knife block. I of course also painted the edges white. I thought that would look better with that natural wood than the dark brown.
for this waste basket, I plan to paint it once again using my white spray paint. And it's pretty cold out here, so I'll spray it, you know, out here on the driveway and then put it inside to, to dry it. I want to add some character to this piece, and I thought it would be cute to attach this round wooden circle to the side. Maybe put a decal on it. What I have here is a circle that is around 5 inches in diameter, and it measures right around 3 8 inch thick. It's that perfect size to add to a piece like this, I think. It's not, you know, chunky and thick. Uh, that 3 8 inch is just a nice size and still have that pretty wooden look. So I plan to sand it down, stain it, and then add a decal. And I have some good news for all of you people out there that are into making things or crafting. Uh, we are looking to expand some of these cutouts that we've been making, probably have a separate shop to actually purchase them from. But for now, this one will be available on the Etsy shop. I'll talk more on that later in a future video but probably coming soon. I'm kind of excited about it because I, of course, you know, love to make things and it's often hard to find that perfect cutout that you may be looking for. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I sure had a lot of fun working on these fun projects. Um, it's always amazing to me how you can buy something for just not a lot of money and turn it into something beautiful. I hope I inspired you to do the same thing or maybe think twice about discarding old unused items. They may still have potential life left. Before ending here, I quickly wanted to show you I have some natural soap again available on the Etsy shop. I don't have a whole lot, so make sure to head on over if you want some. But I had done a video earlier this year, you may remember, my main inspired soap. And I had so much fun making this, and I'm still making some every now and then whenever I have time. But I was so happy to be able to make a completely all-natural soap, including the colorants in here. So any color you see is actually made using a natural product. 
Uh, so much fun. So make sure to check those out and these will get pretty labeling and B will probably label them. And then of course the other thing I had talked about earlier, uh, the small round wooden craft, uh, just a cute little piece to uh, decorate with or add to something. Um, just so much fun. Make sure to check that out if you're needing something like that. As always, I hope your day is going great. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.